and welcome back. I'm Dylan Black. We're getting your lawn ready for the winter season. I know it's not always fun to think about, but you got to do these things, okay? And who better to help us out than our good friend uh, Masood Yarmand with, uh, well, Yarmand, you own the place. That's right. Which is pretty cool. Where are you located? I know you've been on the show many times, but in case people are watching for the first time, where is Yarmand? So we're actually not too far from here. We're on uh, Woodward Carlton Business Park, but our roots are very close to where, where the studio is now in West Boa, so mm -hmm. that's how we started. Okay. Yarmand is the family name, as you would... Uh, I noticed that because yeah. you have the same name. That's right. Yeah. How yeah. long has it been in the family? It's going to be 17 years. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. It's as old as my uh, youngest nephew. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you. So every time you people ask you how old he is, you just think, yeah. Uncle, uh, I need to remember how old the business has been around. Then you remember the date. That's right. You don't look like a bad uncle. No. No. <laughs> have you had a busy summer, a fall season? We have had, and it seems we're having an extended one. I mean, it's beautiful out there. Mm -hmm. the temperatures are great to, to be around. The leaves are changing colors. It's very nice to see. Yeah. But they're coming down soon, which is uh, just more worrisome for folks that have trees and then okay. a lot of leaves. So, so where do you start then? Okay, because you want to pick the proper outdoor power tools, and obviously you have a bunch of them. Yes. Uh, how do you start if someone says to you, I want to keep my lawn looking nice, winter's coming, what do you say to them? So uh, I've got leaf blowers here today, which is most people's concern um, in, in the next week or so. You've got to clean all those up off your lawn, pile them up, um, and the next step would be to maybe mulch them so they take less space if you're bagging them for, for curbside pickup. Okay. Or if you're going to use them for mulch to, you know, neutralize and put it in, in your garden. Okay. Uh, so this really takes away the uh, the backbreaking task of raking everything, which is one way to do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, depending on how large of an area you have, you may need a different kind of equipment to make it easy on okay. you. Okay. So explain some of the equipment that you brought here with you today. Yeah, for sure. So um, we can start with this guy here. So if you notice, it looks like something out of a Ghostbusters movie. That's a pretty big machine. Yeah. So this is a landowner's dream. If you got a bit of a uh, gardens that 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 you know quite large. You need more than an hour of um, blowing everything out. This goes on your back, much like a backpack. Okay. You got a tube that extends, so it's very ergonomic, and it allows you to you know be more comfortable as you're doing the task. Okay. And uh, the load is distributed over your body, so it all comes down to you know after about half an hour holding something in your hand, it starts to get heavy. Yeah, of course. You know, so yeah. you don't want to sweat too much. Uh, so this is our landowner series. Uh, it allows you to get the job done without breaking too much of a sweat. Obviously, there's larger models that you would see city folks using as a commercial use. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not too heavy then? That wouldn't put your back out of sorts or anything like that? No, and, and the straps and everything really help to, to, to put it on your back properly. So the ergonomics is quite well designed yeah. by Husqvarna. Okay. And then having the tube so close to the ground, you know, you, you're not losing any air. So these things, you know, go upwards of 100 miles an hour air wow. pressure to, to move, move leaves for wow. you. Wow, you could just strap that on and blow your enemies away if you wanted to. Just you could. Just yeah. walk around. In fact, the, in some places, they play uh, polo with this. Do they really? Yeah. <laughs> they, instead of horses? Or they're on the horse? No, they're not on the horse, but it's like on rollerblades and they're going Oh, really? Around. Okay, that's a different sport. Yeah. That's quite interesting. Yeah. Uh, prepping your power tools, though, I mean, obviously we come to you if... if we're thinking that our, our tools are maybe out of date or and is it important to make sure that they're in good condition when you're starting to get, uh, get ready ready for winter? Yeah, most definitely. So one is all these things you're using now, but there are a lot of tools we use throughout summer that it's time to put them away. And if you just, you know, put them away in the shed without doing anything, you will have issues come spring. So one is to get these things going and get the job done. And then when you're done, what do you do with them? The, the number one thing we're trying to educate is make sure you really know what fuel does to your equipment. So yes, mm -hmm. we need fuel to run it. Everybody knows that. But stale fuel causes more problems than, than does good for you. Okay. So just a little visual of what, what I mean by that is when we buy fuel now, just a bit more? It, it has ethanol blends in it. So when you're okay. buying 87 octane, let's say, it has some ethanol in it. And if you notice the pink uh, tube here, you got a little bit of a separation going on. Okay. So the, the, the bottom line is the, bo the bottom part is just water. Mm -hmm. And if you're not uh, draining your fuel before putting away your equipment, come spring, you will be trying to run your machines on. And obviously water. that's a bad idea. Yes. Very bad. It doesn't work very well and it creates all sorts of problems and then you have to go to a shop like ours to get that fixed, which costs money as well. So what's the best way to do it then? I mean, you're putting away lawnmowers, you're putting away leaf blowers, stuff like that that are gas yes. powered. Do you just empty them or do you just run them till they're empty? Yeah, so you can run them dry, empty everything out. Um, using fuel stabilizer is another way to make sure it stabilizes what you're using. Okay. If you got equipment like what I'm showing here today, they, they run on mix 
mixed fuel, so you mix the oil and the gas, and you could get products that are uh, proof, foolproof in this sense that they don't go bad as, as, as normal fuel would. So shelf life for something like this would be three years mm -hmm. versus maybe four weeks if this separation happens. Okay. What about being environmentally friendly as well when it comes to batteries or gases? Yep. So more and more uh, products are, are, are becoming that you could, you could use battery and still get a good runtime. Uh, the one over here is actually one of those products. So it's a smaller handheld unit that runs on one of these versus a tank of gas. Okay. And you still get close to about uh, 100 miles uh, an hour or just over. Wow. Allows you to do all your small tasks. The beauty of this is you can have a backpack battery that goes on your back just much like this. You can have much longer runtime oh, nice. than the battery sitting here. Nice. And you can even work because you brought these fancy. I like these right here. That's yeah. pretty cool. So those are, uh, uh, you know, earmuffs. We've all seen them. When you run the blower, <laughs> yeah. the frequency of sound is quite high pitched. So for you, that'd be great. But using a battery power really helps you with your neighbors because it's not as loud as the gas. Yeah. So less of an issue in the neighborhood. For okay. Sure. Yeah. If people are getting uh, prepared right now for winter months, I mean, is there much of a wait time to come see you? Like, when should they make an appointment? It's a good time to start. We do have a lot of people already that have, you know, kind of marked their calendars and, and are coming in. So if you do have something to do with your snowblower, this would be the great time to do. And if you are putting away your mower in the next week or so as the weather's warm, do it before you have to do it with frozen hands. Yeah, that, which isn't the fun. No, it is not. All right, yeah. location one more time for Yarmand. We're on Woodward Drive, just off of Maitland Avenue. And uh, come on by and see us and chat with our experts. We'd love to help you. Masood, thank you. Thanks. It's always good to have you on here with all these helpful tips. Uh, coming up next, how about this? We have another musician going to be performing for us. Don't go anywhere.